What's up and welcome to Taiwan. My name's Luke Martin with Chopstick Travel and today I have a special announcement. This episode is sponsored by the Ministry of Education here in Taiwan and the Office of Global Mandarin Education, OGME. So they have tons of programs for learning Mandarin here in Taiwan. It's an incredible place to live, take my word for it, and a perfect place to learn Mandarin. So you can hit the link down in the description box to check out all the different programs they have. Today we are in Elon City on our last stop of our East Coast tour here in Taiwan. This is another one of those coastal cities packed with all kinds of great street food. We are going to be teaching you a couple words here in Mandarin today. I am still learning myself, so at the end of the episode, we're going to have a teacher come in and help us to properly pronounce those words and use them in a sentence. So let's just get right into the episode. So here in Elon, we're only about an hour and a half or a two hour train ride from Taipei. It's a beautiful little city right on the coast and it's famous for its street food or xiao chi, which means small eats in Mandarin. So we are at the restaurant now. I can smell it already. I know this place is gonna be good. So let's go try it out. This restaurant is right on the side of the highway. It's very popular and they are making some delicious looking chicken. They are roasting their chickens in these huge clay pots and they are cooking that over top of longan wood. So you can see all this wood behind me here is longan wood. Longan is a common fruit here in Taiwan, similar to lychee. So we are gonna go inside. It smells so fragrant and delicious. So let's go try it out. have a little drip pan underneath of the chicken which has a little bit of garlic maybe some mushrooms I saw in there and it is catching all that chicken oil that is dripping down it smells really good so let's go try one of these guys out so we are sitting down at the restaurant now we have a huge spread of delicious looking dishes let me introduce everything we've got here so starting out over here we've got these little cubes of lightly battered and fried taro and then they're topped with some fried up shallots Next up is the uh, ferns, which have little fried anchovies in them. I see some mushrooms, maybe some peanuts in there as well. These are green onions with uh, mushrooms once again in nice little sweet sauce. This is some oyster mushrooms, which have been sliced up and then again, lightly battered like that taro. This is the bamboo shoot soup with tons of those bamboo shoots. And then the piece de resistance is this kaoji, which is roast chicken. It smells absolutely incredible and it's just glistening with oil. So let's dig into this. So the owner of this restaurant is really friendly. They gave me this hat. So I think it's only reasonable that I wear this while ripping apart this chicken. How does it look? Let me know down in the comment box. And we've also got these gloves here, shou tao, which I've got two different kinds, the plastic kind and the regular gloves, and they're going to be used to rip up this chicken. So let's put these on. So we've got our gloves on. Let me start by taking the neck off this guy. I'm not sure if there's a proper way to do this, but I'm just gonna kind of uh, break this guy apart. Oh man, I can smell that oil, that chicken oil. Tear those wings off and this is just the best way you can dig into this with gloves, multi-layer, so that you don't get any of the juice on your hands and also so that you don't burn your hands because this guy's quite hot. Let me rip these drumsticks off next. Oh man, check that out. There is a lot of meat in there. Ooh, that is hot. All right, let's try some of this out. It's time to taste the chicken that I just ripped apart. I've still got my hat on and I've got a nice meaty piece here that I'm gonna drip in those chicken oil drippings. A little bit of salt and pepper, and let's try that. Oh man. Oh, yum. Oh wow. That is some seriously tender 
and juicy chicken. You can just taste that oil and it goes nice with that little salt and pepper. And I'm gonna chase it with a piece of garlic here, which we're also uh, sitting in that chicken oil at the bottom of that pan. Oh, yum. Okay, let's just try all these side dishes too. So I'm gonna grab a piece of this deep fried taro, a little bit of those fried shallots. Mmm. Oh, that's quite salty. It's got a nice firm texture and the taro on the inside is a little bit sweet too. Next up is these ferns with those fried anchovies. Let's try that. Mmm. Oh, I love those anchovies in there. They give it a nice kind of crisp crunch and then those vegetables are nice and crisp as well. Okay, next up, the green onions with a little bit of mushroom. Let's try that. Mmm. Mm. Those vegetables are so fresh. They're really, really crisp. And then that mushroom is nice and soft. And then the second type of mushrooms we got here, those oyster mushrooms, which look to be kind of lightly battered. Let's try that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, those are very meaty mushrooms. Oh man, this is such a good feast. This chicken is phenomenal. Finished off with that roast chicken. That was really, really good. That chicken was super juicy and tender. This place is really cool and the staff is really friendly. It's really starting to get busy in here, as you can see. So now we're pretty full, but we're gonna head to get some dessert. <laughs> So we're having a very unique dessert. This is a ice cream roll, and it's pretty popular here in Taiwan. The way that they make it is they start with a spring roll wrapper, and then they shave this big block of uh, toffee with peanuts in it. And then they put all those little shavings inside the spring roll wrapper with some cilantro and then some ice cream. So it looks really good, let's try it. So this is stuffed with ice cream, and in Mandarin ice cream is bing qi lin, and also peanuts, which is hua shang. Mm. Oh wow, that's a little bit of a messy dessert, but it is really interesting. My favorite part is the spring roll wrapper. It really has an elasticity to it. There's a little bit of a cilantro kick in there. Of, cold, of course, it's nice and cold and refreshing from that ice cream. And then you can see all that peanut toffee shavings in there. That is quite a unique uh, Taiwanese dessert, and it is definitely good on a hot day like today here in Ilan. Mm. So I'm gonna take a bite of this. Mm. Mm. That is really good. And this is one of the better ones that I've actually had in Taiwan. I've had a couple of them, but this is the best one. So that was a nice refreshing dessert. We are quite stuffed, and I think we're gonna take a little bit of a break and go relax at one of the many hot springs here in Ilan. So we're gonna jump on the scooters and go there now. We are here at the Gong Yuan, which is a park, and this park is famous for their hot springs, or Wen Chuen, and we are going to dip our feet in. This is a really cool place, so let's try it out. Huh? It's really hot. <laughs> Oh, that is seriously hot. I don't know how hot it is, but that is like my threshold for temperature of water. Whew, that feels nice though once you're acclimated. So Taiwan is full of these geothermal hot springs. This one is free. You can just come here to put your feet in. It is nice and hot and a really good way to relax. Wow, that is super relaxing. Actually, this is the first time I've ever been to a hot spring here in Taiwan, and there are a lot, so I definitely have to check out some more of those. If you guys know any really good ones that you recommend, let me know down in the comment box. So we are going to take a little break now. We are quite full still, and tonight we are gonna head to do a lot more eating and visit one of Taiwan's busiest and largest night markets here in Ilan. Mm -hmm. 
We're here at the night market or Ye Shi in Chinese. This is just about a 15 minute drive from the downtown of Ilan City and this is the main attraction here. Super large night market, really busy and this place is packed with a lot of good food. We know the first thing we want to try is a green onion pancake. So we're gonna head there and order one up. So we have our green onion pancake here. In Chinese, this is literally translated to a onion oil pancake, and it is quite oily. Ilan is famous for their green onions. It's a very agriculturally rich area of Taiwan, and the green onions here are especially famous. So we ordered ours with a little bit of chili sauce. You can kind of see glistening with all that oil on the outside, and it is really piping hot. So let me try this. Mmm. Oh, wow right away there's not like any other one i've ever had it is very crisp but also there is many many layers on the inside kind of flaking away and it was so soft it it wasn't much of an elasticity to it it just kind of broke apart in my mouth right away and then that green onion flavor is really prominent like extremely uh oniony flavor and then a little spicy too that is actually really really good man it doesn't look like much and it is quite a sinful treat because it's very oily but that is seriously addictive the layers of bread on the inside are super gooey and delicious and then crisp on the outside mm. oh man i could eat a ton of these this market is really fun there is a lot of good food here and seeing as though this is only about an hour and a half or two hour quick trip from taipei i definitely think it's worth a visit and it is a great place to sample some authentic Taiwanese street food. I don't see very many foreign tourists here. It's mostly packed out with locals. So that green onion pancake wasn't really enough to fill us up tonight and we have come to have what many would argue is probably the second most beloved Taiwanese food after beef noodles and that is braised pork rice. It is a very simple dish. It is just these bits of pork and pork fat that have been braising for hours in uh, a stew of spices and it is just served on rice. So very simple, but one of my favorite dishes. Let me just grab a big bite for my first bite. Mm. Oh man. The pork, it just melts in your mouth. And then the rice just absorbs all of those spices and that juice. And then those bits of fat are so like liquid. They just completely turn to liquid in your mouth. Oh man, this is just comfort food here in Taiwan. A perfect thing to have street side here at the night market in Ilan. Oh yeah, that's good. All right guys, that's going to be it for our episode here from Ilan City. Ilan is an incredible place full of delicious food and lots of fun things to do. And thank you once again to the Ministry of Education and the Office of Global Mandarin Education for sponsoring this video. If you're interested in learning Mandarin, Taiwan is an incredible place to live full of great food, a rich culture, and perfect place to experience and learn Mandarin Chinese. So check out their programs down in the description box. I will leave the link to their website. And follow us on Instagram at Chopstick Travel. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified when we post a video. And we will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching guys, bye bye. So thank you for watching the video. Now we're gonna teach you a little bit more Mandarin. I'm here with teacher Shu Qi from Tom Khan University Chinese Language Center. Hi, ni hao. The first word is street food. Xiao chi. Xiao chi. Taiwan is famous for street food. The next word is roast chicken. Kao ji. I would like to order some roast chicken. 
我想要点烤鸡 Gloves. 手套手套 I will wear gloves. 我会戴手套 The next word is ice cream. 冰淇淋冰淇淋 Ice cream is delicious. 冰淇淋很好吃 Peanut. 花生花生 Peanuts are my favorite. 我最喜欢吃花生 Hot spring. 温泉温泉 There are a lot of hot springs in Taiwan. Taiwan 有很多温泉 The last word is night market. 夜市夜市 Let's go to the night market. 我们去夜市吧 Thank you for watching and thank you, Teacher Shu Qi. Bye bye. 再见。